And the news yesterday, somewhat surprising, yeah, that this group will sell the Boston Celtics to the highest bidder. Uh, and I don't know what that number ends up being. I'm and, changing my opinion. Uh, oh, really? Yes. Okay. Can we I get, want, well, it's good. Do I get an, uh, uh, some kind of an apology or a, a restart of the show at 6 a.m. this morning? Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not changing my opinion on... I, I'm saying, Wick, please, let's sit down and talk about this. <laughs> this team is way too valuable for him to sell. I don't think he wants to sell. I think this team goes for six and a half billion. I, I, I think if they are like the the you know the estimated value by the experts is somewhere between four and a half and five or five and a half or whatever. I, I think if they are selling that the number that they have been shown uh, scribbled on a piece of paper is much higher than than five. It's well, it, the Phoenix Suns went for four billion. If I was a prospective buyer, I would offer three parades because that's what he said he wanted. <laughs> the, the Phoenix Suns went for four billion. You mm -hmm. just want a chip. You have two of let's call it the top ten players you, in you the NBA think, that are young. You don't think this franchise right now is more valuable than the Golden State Warriors? Which are valued at seven and a half. That's the highest NBA franchise. Seven and a half billion dollars. But what would the Warriors be worth if they were leasing their building? Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I understand that. But if you're buying it, then you can have some kind of a deal in place. I don't get the casino one doesn't make any sense to me. Like I I don't think Wynn even owns that property yeah. anymore. Wiggy and I were talking about Wynn. He I sold think, it. Sold it to a, a to, reality to, company. Yeah, so they don't own that property. I And I think the Revolution Stadium is going there anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, like, maybe you, maybe you, if you're somebody who's buying it and you're going to spend five, six, whatever the number is, billion dollars, not only to buy the franchise, but you're locked in. Current deals, when you take Derek White, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, et al., is almost a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be able to recoup on the revenue side of things by owning your own building. There's right. got to be a plan to have it somewhere. Right. And I, so that, and the, so when I'm looking at the Wick situation. Maybe up by Shime and Lowell. Like maybe that would be a good <laughs> oh, spot. Oh, that'd be great. I'd love to. I can yes. park and then walk to the arena. Yes. But when you yes. look at the Wick. Uh, maybe uh, maybe Wiggy's favorite destination, Hampton Beach, would be a good spot. Oh, for oh the, you know the great. governor of New Hampshire has already right. said, listen. He'd roll the red carpet he'll roll out. The, but when you think about Wick's got to be going, all right, I'm only 63 years old. This franchise is, let's call it six and a half billion if we sell it. Dad, if we hold on to this thing for 10 more years, we could potentially double that if we win multiple yeah, championships. I think he would be thinking, I don't, do you think he is the driving force behind? No. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, now that I, I think, think about it. I think he's the driving force behind selling this basketball. Now that I team, think right? about it, I think his hands are tied and he's probably. By being, his father? I, I mean, I don't, I didn't even know his dad was still alive, but whoever's if now that i know may have been pushing it to him saying hey why clef i understand <laughs> <laughs> i'm still baffled at his name why well, I, I understand that you we all of a sudden likes him again that you that you that you love what you're doing but just for the rest of the family this is too much money especially at this point in time to say you know what let's hold on to this thing and especially knowing that we're gonna have to put in money to get the new arena i don't I mean, we went over it earlier, but if you're somebody who, ha, let me rephrase, uh, Your Honor, uh, it is do you want your team? I know you answered this earlier, Wiggy, but I want to ask Courtney, Curtis, and Shime. Do you want it to be owned by somebody locally, or does that not matter to you anymore? I I, I think the days of the and and Robert Kraft has kind of led the charge on this. Wick was Wick was the same kind of vein of person the fan quote unquote who is able to buy the team and then run it for the fans like i don't with with the these franchises selling in the billions of dollars i don't think that's possible anymore but do it you want it to me it matters to you if it's somebody local yeah it does i just think that you see a difference you saw a difference when it came to rubber craft and what he was able to do for the patriots you saw a difference when it was wick and what he's been able to do for the celtics 
John Henry, I think, has brought other people from the area to work underneath him, whether it's Sam Kennedy or others who have a real interest and bring the fan aspect to the front office. And I think that's important. I think if John Henry was from here and was a red diehard Red Sox fan his entire life, it would elevate it even more so than the great things that the Red Sox has, have shown us in the last 20 years. I just, I, and this could be, you know, a complete homer take, but I liked, I like when an owner is one of us. I, really I like it, but it's not a game. I mean, as long as the person that buys the team views that the team needs to win to get the value in the organization, then we'll be okay. And the new deal, you know, we, Greg, you rightfully note the amount of money that they're going to have to be paying these guys. The new TV deal, they're going to be getting $210 million per team per season before they sell a ticket, a parking spot, a jersey, or anything. So... The fact that there has been this beyond awful situation with cord cutting and TV ratings and the way we consume everything, the only thing that has retained its value and gone up is sports because it's the only thing you need to watch live. And that's why this is going to continue to grow as it's been able to withstand all the changes that have gone on that have ruined the movie industry, that have ruined television on TV, all of that. Like, it's been sustainable, and it's been profitable. But, Curtis, so you'd be fine if another Tom Werner came in here and bought the Celtics? If they win two championships in five years after buying the team, yes. But I'm saying from jump. Like, when it's announced, that that's what we're talking about. We're not talking about, you know, after they do A, B, and C. We're well, talking about when they buy. How are you going to feel, for instance, if it is the uh, the Saudi group? That is I will never watch basketball again. That, will, <laughs> that is heavily, I will go to Uganda and work that, on a bake sale. That is heavily <laughs> investing in all things sports in America. I got no issues. You, you, brought up get... you brought up Golden State. The owner of the Golden State team is from Massachusetts. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's kind of like it's about it, we, we, I, like Mark Cuban. I don't think Mark Cuban is from Dallas. No. So it's and a, I think that this model, if you want to call it that, is based on what Mark – Kubin did with mm -hmm. the Mavericks, where he is still he sold his majority share or what have you, mm -hmm. but he is still involved when it comes to the day to day on on the team at least currently. Like he still I has is. a position, but he's and not so the Wick, final say. So. Wick will still be here until twenty twenty eight. Yeah, I, I, I think that's what you say to cushion the blow, Greg. You do, yeah. yeah. I think if it's sold this off season, Wick will still be around, but whoever is taking ownership of the team. If you drop $7 billion on an asset, you're not going to let somebody else run it for you. That's why I truly believe because of this franchise and the value of this franchise and just the history of this franchise and where this franchise is, people might poo-poo it. But if you're a guy like LeBron James who wants to own an NBA franchise and who talked about bringing one to Vegas, would you rather bring a potential – crap team to Vegas or even start a, uh, uh, an expansion team. Well, now you're saying they're going to move the Boston Celtics? No, 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 no. I'm oh, not saying okay. that. I'm well, saying... That uh, helped the craps get more money out of the no, state. No, <laughs> I'm saying, like, if LeBron had the choice to be in... LeBron owner, doesn't have enough money to buy the this. He'd have to have a giant group behind oh, him and be the, like, a Tom Brady, like, you know... Magic one or, Johnson. One or two percent. You know, equity partner Ma in, the, in the, yeah. face of, the face of the organization. I will say, Sports though, Greg, I, yeah. I would say if the NBA allows the Celtics to be purchased by a Saudi group, the same league that moved an all-star game because of a bathroom bill would look pretty funny. Yeah. Magic Johnson. Well, you, you, I think you have to be ready for the prospect that it is some sort of a foreign entity that buys it. It's mm -hmm. not guaranteed that it's... It, I, you know, it's not guaranteed that it's somebody local, and it's not even guaranteed that it's an American corporation. No. What or, would you rather, a non-American corporation or Fenway Sports Group? I, I would prefer a non-American corporation. No, no disrespect to Fenway Sports Group. They just have a lot going on. Right. But Magic so, is part owner of the Washington, and I don't know how much he is, but his and and it's all his net worth is one point two billion. LeBron's net worth is one point two billion. And a basketball franchise is obviously less than an NFL. What about it? Now you're making me think, because of Magic, what about a group that Larry Bird is a part of? Um, would, would I got no issues. Like, to me, it doesn't. I'm just saying I know LeBron wants in. And if he had the option somehow, some way in a couple years to to 
be the uh, uh, a majority owner for the Celtics, yeah. I think he would rather that than a team in Vegas. Basketball coverage on WEEI is presented by T-Mobile. Switch to T-Mobile and you can get tons of benefits and still save on every plan versus AT&T and Verizon. Use their savings calculator to find out how at T-Mobile.com slash switch. This is Mike from Haverhill. What's up, Mike? Hey guys, love your show. Thank you. Uh, I have I'm writing on the wall of when they were going to sell the team, and it all stems back when your seats were not given to you for the playoffs. <laughs> he was softening you up uh, for the sale. Yeah, I think I uh, I think that they probably, who knows? Maybe it's Tito Horford who is leading the investment yeah, group. Though. Yeah, maybe uh, he's he's part of it. Yeah. Right. Love the show. Thank you. Thank you. Any chance Brady kind of gets with a bunch of people? <laughs> Dana White or something like that, and, you know. Oh, I don't – yeah, I mean, Tom Brady is – I think he's intent on his Raiders investment all right. right, panning out. I, I don't know. He's invested in a soccer team. Am I right about that, Tom Brady? Yep. Um, Correct. Dana White I would be a good idea. He's only worth $500 million, though. Yeah. Right, but I mean, only. he maybe gets a, maybe gets the the, the two uh, brothers that he started the UFC with. Aren't they worth billions of dollars? Yeah. yeah. So I, 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 and the reason the Maloofs, is that their name? Or I no? thought of Fajit, uh, f- oh yeah, the f- Fajit, uh, fajitas. I was getting ready to say fajitas, <laughs> them, them fajitas, them fajitas are 